Hey guys, thanks for catching our review on the Cooler Master MM712 version 3 wired mouse. So, this uh, really isn't a video about the mouse, it's about the software primarily. Um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate software uh, in pictures, right? Can't really get the, a feel for it. But let's look at the mouse. Very nice, understated mouse. It's very lightweight got a button on the bottom for DPI unusual to find white feet it only has two side buttons one thing that I love about it is very soft uh, cord I think it's called paracord or something like that very flexible I hate stiff mouse cords I'm sure you do too right but let's dive into the software right so master plus software So when you open this up, this main page here, you see um, some tiles that have CPU, usage, temperature, voltage, GPU as well. You probably use something else for that. I do, right? But hey, it's there. It's not hurting anything. So you click on the mouse itself. The main page gives you an overview of the way the buttons are, what they're used for, that kind of thing. You can enable and disable a mouse combo. You can adjust uh, polling rate, double click speed, left and right mouse button response time, things like that. Um, all the things you'd expect to find in mouse software, right? You can adjust the lighting. Again, there's just this one logo on the back, very understated. I actually like that about it. Um, at least you get to choose what's there, right? Not take whatever they give you. The thing about it is you're not going to be seeing this if you're using the mouse. You're only going to be seeing it if you're looking at the mouse and not using it, right? So, not a big deal, but it's nice that they let you decide what you want there. You can create some macros. I'm not into that. Some people really are. And it's a valuable feature to have if you need it. You can create profiles to do various things with with the lighting, importing and exporting um, different profiles, that kind of thing. So that's really nice. Now, a couple of things. Does not launch on startup by default. Very nice. Thank you, Cooler Master. Minima you can set it to minimize to the tray on close. It uses very few system resources compared to most of the garbage that we, we find now. Um, if I look I'm using 113 processes and 5.3 gigs of RAM, right? We'll look at that again in just a moment. So, one thing that's really irksome is you can't resize the window. You can't make it any smaller. So, you can only toggle from full screen, or in my case, this is a 1440p screen, when I choose the option to not have it maximized, it, it's actually wider than my screen. And there's no way to make it smaller. Maybe that's just a bug with the software, I don't know. But I don't like that. One thing I do like, though, is that you don't have to go get this. It's not uh, from Windows Store. It's not another UW, UWP piece of garbage. I don't know about you, that just drives me nuts having to get stuff from Windows Store. You go to the Cooler Master website, download it. It's a Win32 app. Thanks again, Cooler Master. So anyhow, taking a look at the system resources, right? So, <clears throat> if I quit from the Master Plus software, you can see the processes went down a little bit. The memory went down just a little bit. Not very much though, right? So, a pretty lightweight program. So anyway, that's it for this video. It was quick. Just a quick look at the software. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for reading our review. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you back at the review for more details on the mouse itself. Alright guys? Take care and God bless.